Hey guys, I'm back, finally. So today I filmed for you guys this makeup look. It turned out, I really didn't know what I was gonna do. I kind of just saw these two different shadows in my makeup collection that I wanted to work with. So I kind of created this bluey brown kind of makeup and I feel like it's kind of fall-ish. So um, it is kind of appropriate for the weather right now because, ooh. Everything's shaking. <laughs> I just hit my table. Not an earthquake. But it is kind of weather appropriate because it was actually pretty cool out today. And I'm really upset because I don't want it to be fall. I want it to be summer. But I'm kind of a little bit, just a little excited so I can create some fall looks. And this is going to be number one. I do have another one that I'm so excited about because I'm going to be using my favorite lipstick and my all-time favorite at the moment. And we're also in a different background. This is now... Um, gonna be my official background. I like it so much better. I have all my makeup here, my lipsticks right there, and it's just, I don't know, I like it better. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys like this background. Also, let me know if you guys want to see like a room tour or a makeup collection kind of video. This whole thing is not that full, but it is pretty full, like, I'm satisfied with the amount of makeup I have. So let me know if you guys want to see what's in that bad boy back there and where I got everything, where I got this desk and all that stuff. Just let me know in the comments down below if you guys would like to see that video. So before I continue rambling on for like three hours, let me just please let you see how I got this makeup look. <laughs> okay, so my face and brows are already done. I do have a foundation routine and... My brow routine already done, so I figured why not just go over to the fun stuff and do my eyes and lips. So I'll link those other two videos down below in the description box. Let's get onto our eyes. Let me just bring you a little bit closer so you guys can see what I'm doing. To start off, I'm going to run Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek through my crease. And I'm going to run that through my crease with a fluffy kind of dome brush. And I'm obsessed with using this through my crease as the first shadow on my lid. <laughs> um, it barely gives off any color, but it really just blends out all the other shadows that go over it so well. So I've been loving this. So I'm going to take this Maybelline eyeshadow in the color Turquoise C and run this through my crease. And I'm taking that on a Real Techniques crease brush, I believe that is. So I'm just taking this and I'm going to run this through my crease. I kind of want a stiffer brush, so I'm just going to use this crease brush that's like a little smaller by Posh. Now I'm going to go back in with that crease brush by Real Techniques and start blending that out. Then I'm just going to take a smaller dome brush, and it's also my posh, it's really old. <laughs> and I'm going to run that on my lower lash line. And really smoke that out. Okay, now for the lid, I'm going to take this shadow, and I'm going to take a flat shader brush, and I think this one's by Crown. It's a chisel shader brush, and I'm going to run that on my lid. I might go in with my finger and just do this. And I'm just going to dab it on the blue kind of a little bit, lightly just to make sure it's all blended. What I like to do sometimes is take the shadow a little bit on the inner third of the eye and just avoiding it on the inner corner to tie in the look. So I'm going to take this same shadow and then just apply it right here. You don't have to use all the same shadows that I'm using because some of them are old or some of them are like limited edition I guess you can say but there goes the house phone 
But I found this old hard candy palette that I had, and this one I think is the Delusional Eyeshadow Quartet. I don't know. But this is like super duper old, and the shadows are so pretty. So I'm going to be using this bottom one down here, and you can just use any other frosty kind of blue or even a white shadow. I'm going to apply that on my inner corner. It's a white with some blue undertones in it, and it's super duper pretty. So I'm going to take that on that same little dome crease brush and run that on my inner corner. So this was the closest thing near me, it's just the Too Faced Natural Eyes Palette, and I'm just going to take this shadow up here just to highlight under my brow bone. I want something that's not shimmery, and that's like skin tone color, so I'm going to be using this, and I'm just going to pat that under my brow bone and then blend that out. So I'm going to do my eyeliner and I'll be right back because it's just super duper difficult for me to film and try to do my eyeliner. So I'll be back. Okay, so my eyeliner is done and now I'm going to take, I got this little guy. It's by Lord & Berry in Black Silk. It's a mini coal liner pencil and I got this in my Ipsy bag and I absolutely love it. It's so good. It's so black and it really does stay on your waterline. I wish it was bigger. <laughs> it came just probably like about like that big. So yeah, I've been using it wisely. I'm going to line my inner, my waterline <laughs> and tight line. I'm going to curl my lashes and I'm going to apply some Maybelline Falsies Mascara and then Ardell Lashes and Demi. Okay, so while that glue dries on my lashes, I'm going to do my lips. I have this really old Lancome lip liner. It's in the color Bronzel, I think. It's kind of like a brown... Yeah, and I've never worn any kind of like brown lipsticks, but I feel like they're kind of in style right now. I'm just going to line my lips with this lip liner and fill them in. Now let me zoom out and show you the full face. So this is finally the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. If you have any other requests for any other looks that you guys would like to see, please don't hesitate to leave them down in the comments below. And also check my Instagram, which is at Polina underscore Elliot, for updates. Like I post makeup looks every day, but if you guys want to check out my Instagram to see when I upload on YouTube, then check that out because I'll always have it in the caption of any picture, like I'll say new video or filming or something like that. So yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look. If any of you try it out, please tag me on Instagram, hashtag me or tag me. <laughs> and you can just hashtag plain underscore Elliot. It's also on the bio of my Instagram. Yeah. And my sister's calling me, so that's my cue to leave. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye guys.